All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Makakadash, Bakata Yahweh, Bakata Yahweh Shai, Bakata Yahweh, Bakata Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that rule well and teach well. Shalom to the brothers. Uh, word, noising his truth abroad to the four corners of this earth. And another Shalom to the Akim and the Akwafim, taking heed to this message. Once again, it's your boys arrive coming at you real quick. Just going to get into a few scriptures. I'm going to let the spirit bring me wherever it bring me. But I'm going to get on Esau's ass because he's, he's deluded, man. He's delusional. He thinks that things are going to go his way forever, man. But his time is almost up, man. All right? That his time is almost up. And there's nothing he could do about it, man. There's absolutely nothing Esau could do about his rulership deteriorating. And, and, and the rise of the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So I'm gonna start off here at Psalms, on um, the 49th chapter, the 11th verse, where it reads, get, talking to Esau, the wicked man on this earth, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands, but after their own names. Now who does that, man? They they really think that that they that everything's gonna happen forever, man. All right, they think that they that they're gonna rule the earth forever, man, and that their kingdom is gonna last. They make these movies about you know their future and all of this, but man, the Most High got them in a trick bag, man. It's not gonna happen like that, man. All right, they call the lands by their own names: Africa, Leo Scipio, Africantus, America Vespucci, America. All right, so they 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 name these continents after their own names, man. You know. Even the states within the continents, they name them after their own names, even the streets, man. All right? With their inward thought, thinking that it's going to last forever, man. But guess what? Yeah, how about Shimei Shai got these wicked demons, man, in a trick bag, man? All right? He got them in a trick bag, and there's nothing they can do about it. Here, this is Job. I'm going to start at the, um, the fifth verse, all right? And it reads, this is Job 20, 20th chapter, the fifth verse, and it reads, no, I'm going to start, yeah, at the fifth verse, that the trump, that the triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, thou has excellency, though his excellency mounts up to the heavens, and his heads reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever, like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? All right, so they're going to disappear, man. And, and, no, and that's spoken of in the scriptures, man. Here in, um, this is the book of Obadiah. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm going to start at 3, verse 3, and it reads, the pride, of, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee, thee, thee that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. Who dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, man? You Edomites, man, because you call yourselves Caucasian, man, which goes back to Caucasus Mountains. You were cave dwellers, man. And the Lord's explaining you, man. He's blowing, he's blowing your spot up, so to speak, all right? I'm going to read that again. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, and though thou set thy nest, among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith Yahweh. So the Most High has a plan for you, man. When did you, uh, ex when did you, you've been exalting yourself as a, as a, um, eagle, man? You know, from the Roman, uh, from the Grecians, from the Romans, and here in modern day Babylon, man. You exalt yourself as a, as an eagle, man. All right, and you say in your heart, who's gonna bring you down, man? But the Lord's saying, listen, man, don't you exalt yourself in the stars? And how do you how do you set your nest among the stars, man? Them space stations, man. The Most High said, thence will I bring thee down, man. And since the 60s, if I'm not mistaken, since the 60s, since you built them space stations, man, and been going up high in the, in the, in the, in the um, heavens, man, the Most High has been de uh, deteriorating this kingdom, man. All right? This kingdom is not no longer known as the great America, all right? Who the world calls America, but the scriptures, uh, the scriptures explain it to be Babylon, man, the great daughter of Babylon, man, the mother of whores. Why? Because of all the abominations that they that they uh push here in America, man. 
you know, homosexuality is legal. Uh, getting married, bestiality is legal. Being able to have sex and marry animals, man. All right? They turn the unclean foods pursuant to the Leviticus. All right? They turn those into delicacies, man, such as swine, man, such as uh, lobster, crabs, all these abominable foods, man. All right? And not, not talking about, you know, what you did to the children of Israel by bringing them, putting them into captivity, all right, building this wicked land off the blood of, of Israelites, man. All right, so the Most High has got a judgment for these demons, man. All right, so going back to, to Job, the 20th chapter, and it reads, uh, I'm going I'm to go, I'm going to jump right to where I was at, and I'm going to read back down at 5, 20 and 5, that the triumph of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment, though his excellency mounts up to the heavens and his head in his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish for he forever, like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Yes, you're going to perish like your own dung, man. Pursuing back to the book of Obadiah. All right. All right, and here it is. This, this is the book of Obadiah, uh, 18th verse. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, but the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall be no, there shall be not any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh hath spoken it, man. So he's saying this twice, man. There's not going to be anything left, man. After a thousand years, these Edomites, uh, after a thousand years in the kingdom of the Most High, all right, governed and, uh, and ruled by the by the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemir Ashai. Guess what? A thousand years, man. We gonna have them in hardcore bondage, man. All right, and then after that a thousand years, we're gonna exterminate them, man. There's gonna be no more left of the Mount of Esau. For Yahweh has spoken it, man. This is stuff saith the scriptures, all right. Yeah, he shall perish. This is back to Job twenty to seventh chapter. I mean Salakia twenty to seventh verse. Yet he shall perish forever, like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which have saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more be behold him, man. So they're not going to be here on the earth anymore, man. Them which seen the Edomite is going to be like, what is the Edomite, man? They're not going to know what he is, man. They're going to forget about him, man. All right? Verse 10, his children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. So this is what Esau does now, man, with his, with his BS uh, uh, salvation armies and his, his food, his food uh, pantries, all right, his, his uh, EBT cards, all right? He's the children of these wicked, which are the wicked themselves, reincarnated, if you can understand that, if that doesn't go over your head, but... They're going to seek to please the poor, man. Why are they pleasing the poor? Number one, they're the cause of the poor being in the situation that they are in, man. Because of their evilness, man. Because of their rob, rape, and murder uh, 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 of, of the children of Israel, man. They stole the land. They stole people. All right? They raped the people. All right? They murdered the people. And then they made the people uh, serve hardcore bondage and build up their, their kingdom, man. And so now their children is going to seek to please the poor, man. But is that going to do anything? No, it's not, man. Because you're still the wicked. You're the, you're the offspring of the wicked, man. So let me keep going. This is Job 20 and, and 9. I'm going to start, run back a little bit. The eye which, which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor. And his hands shall restore their goods. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust, man. So you, you, your bones are filled with the sin of your forefathers, man. And even when you die, you're still going to be, your, your sins are going to lay down with you, man. All right? Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, because that's what they do, man. They hide it, man. The scriptures talk about he got them sweet. He, he, the, the, he, he comes with a... Uh, uh, words as smooth as butter, but war is in his heart, man. All right? So that's what happens, man. These these Edomites, they'll talk all soft and nice to you, 
But in, in all actuality, in their heart, man, they hate you, man. They're seeking to destroy you, man. All right, so let's read that over. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it, it is under his tongue. Though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth, man. So though he act like even sin's not in there, he's in it, man. That wickedness is in him, man. 14. Yet his meat in his bowels is turned up. It is the, the gall of ass within him. He has swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up. Yahweh shall cast them out of his belly. So that's what's going on now, man. It, it's, it's becoming a transition of kingdoms going on right now, man. The big, a big, beautiful day, man. It's a beautiful time we're living in, man. The transition of kingdoms, man. Kingdom, The kingdom of the earth being, being changed from one hand, exchanged from one hand, these Edomites, these wicked rulership, to the to the righteous rulership of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai being governed by his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the house of David, the, the, the elect, and the, and the rest of the children of Israel, man. All right? So guess what? The Most High has a plan for these damn demons, man. All right? The Most High has a plan for these demons, man. All right? A year, uh, a thousand years to the Most High is but is but is but a day to him man matter of fact i'm gonna get that man because the the when we say the wicked is but for a short time it's been what 500 years a thousand years so they think they had it for a long time man but it, it's only been a couple hours man for the most high man this is second peter three and eight and it reads but beloved be not ignorant of this one of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. So one day with the Lord is a thousand years, man. All right. So them, this, the slavery is still fresh in the mind of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Slavery of his, of his begotten seeds, man. Of his of his loved seeds, man. His beloved seeds, man. Ultimately, they they were uh you know being punished by him through the sins of their forefathers. But you think he 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 has forgotten the ones that have put him through the hell, man? No, man. The wicked and will not the wicked will not prevail, man. All right, and I'm gonna get that again, man, because it's here in Psalms, Psalms ninety and four. So I get it. Psalms ninety, verse four. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past. More man, a thousand years in the sight of, in my sight is a but is yesterday, you know, to the Lord, man. All right, and, and, and the Lord doesn't forget anything, man. All right, this is Deuteronomy thirty-two and seven, and it reads: Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee; thy elders, and they will tell thee, man. So the Most High is not forgetting things, and he gave out a commandment. He said, you remember the days of old, man. All right? So the days are older to be remembered, man. All right? Jumping to Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 15. And it reads, that which has been is now, and that which is is to be hath already been, and Yahweh requireth that which is past, man. So you haven't got away with anything, Esau, man. The Most High got you in a trick bag, man. He, he, he what he's doing, and he's building up his case, man. And you're not, and you're not making it too hard for him. Uh, so with that, that was just through the spirit, real quick, getting on Esau's wicked ass, man. We almost out of here. I'm going to leave by saying all praise and glory and honor yet. How about Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem HaKadosh, double honors to elders and apostles at Great Millstone that teach well, rule well. Um, uh, Shalom to the brothers, the Akim, across the four corners of this earth, man. Noise and his truth abroad, man. Making their bodies a living sacrifice. And a final Shalom to the Akim and Akwati. I'm taking heed to this message through the Holy through the Spirit. Hope you were edified. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.